That's right, Megan. You know, school superintendent Dr. Eric Green saying for the foreseeable future, kids will be doing their assignments like me, working from home. Now, this is a change from a two-option plan that was unveiled just last week. Jackson Public Schools will start the school year fully virtual. Superintendent Eric Green announcing the plan Friday during a special meeting of the Board of Trustees. Dr. Green says the decision changes a proposed hybrid plan for the semester announced last week that had two options, allowing parents a choice between sending their children to school or having virtual learning. Hybrid will now have a completely different meaning for JPS. But a hybrid in terms of uh, folks using some of the online tools as well as offline tools, um, books and um, instructional packets. Green says school leaders revised the plan as coronavirus cases continue to spike in Mississippi and Hines County. They also took note of increased pediatric cases of the virus. Dr. Green says the district learned a lot about preparing for this unique school situation from what they went through back when the pandemic began. Ensuring that everyone has packets right away, ensuring that um, uh, that all scholars have access to teachers. Leaders say the virtual learning is also planned to run through December 18th, which is the entire semester, not just the first few weeks of school. We determined that we need to do that because if we only went out for the uh, first nine weeks, that means that we would be bringing our scholars back into the schools uh, really just as the flu season is, is, is picking up or right in the middle of the flu season. He says the district knows that there are children who need to physically be in school while parents are at work. And there are also families without internet access. Uh, we'll be looking at more creative ways to get connectivity out um, uh, in, in and around the community as well. And he says they're also working on wraparound services to help out. Now, Dr. Green says that they have very limited hotspots available for students, but they're working with the city of Jackson and some other partners to create a wireless network in parts of the city. Also, JPS will start the school year on August 12th instead of the 10th, giving teachers a couple of extra days to prepare for this virtual semester. Reporting from home tonight, Troy Johnson, 16 WAPT News at 10.